Hello there everybody, it's Sally here and welcome back to Tuesday Teaching Tips. And today I've got a, a short starter activity that I'm going to give you four different ideas for what you can do with lollipop sticks. Yes, you heard that right, these are just lollipop sticks, the kinds that you can get in many shops these days and they're very, very cheap. And I, I would like to say a big thank you to Esther Hartguy from the British Kadai Academy, who uh, I had the delight of working with at the weekend, who uh, reminded me about lollipop sticks with the, one of the activities she, she did. So thank you, Esther, for this inspiration. And uh, as I say, four, four different activities. So you might be able to see I've already got some rhythms written out here. And very easy. You can do this at all kinds of different levels. I've just got a beginner's uh, rhythm here, but I was doing it yesterday with uh, a grade four, grade five, more intermediate level pupil, and we were doing it with semi-quavers and they were having a lot of fun with it as well. So first of all, you know, could start the lesson just with two rhythms written down and the moment the pupil comes in the room, they see the rhythms, that's gonna get them interested and slightly curious. And then you simply just tap one of them, off by go. And the pupil has to work out which rhythm they heard. Okay, so that would be one starter activity. Um, a second activity might be to have a slightly different rhythm. So, for example, if I take off this one, and I'm hoping you can see and you've just heard that rhythm. And then here I've got two, um, two post-it notes. One's got a four on it, one's got a three on it. Can they match up the metre? So can they work out which... Which of the rhythms has a metre of four and which has a metre of three? And hopefully they would get the four is going to go there and the three is going to go there. Then I would probably get them to actually tap and say the rhythm. I might do that before, I might do that after. It would depend on the pupil as far as I was concerned. So that's the second activity. The third activity could be to um, just use one of those rhythms and get the pupil to compose their own rhythm um, to follow on from that. So if we chose the rhythm of uh, in a metre of three, we had that would be it. Get them to tap that several times. And then can they use these sticks, let's take away the metre of four, um, can they use these sticks to create their own rhythm? So they might come up with something like that. Not those. And then I say, can you tap that and say it? Off you go. Then you could do all sorts of things. I could tap my rhythm first and they follow on, or they could tap the whole thing all the way through from the beginning. If they're beginners, then really important to get all elementary pupils, get them to use their rhythm language or their metrical counting, whichever they're doing at that particular time. So if it was rhythm language for me, my pupils would go off, off we go. Te, 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 ta, ta, te, te, ta. If it was metrical counting that they'd moved on to, we'd go one, two, three, one and two and three. One, two, and three. Okay, so that's the third activity. So the first one was to listen to a rhythm and to be able to work out which one was being heard. The second one was to be able to match up the meter with the rhythm that they could see written. The third one was to compose, was to create their own rhythm. And the fourth rhythm activity is for them to write down what it is they hear. So for example, if I take this one away, and they would just have a whole set of sticks like this. And I was to tap a rhythm that went off by go. Off by go. And they would see if they could say that. And again. The saying is really key. They can say it, they can write it, and then they would just simply create that rhythm using the lollipop sticks. Let's see if I can do it very quickly. Te, 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 te. Saying it is so important, and so often we, we forget 
about the saying. Oh look, there's one there. There we go. And rather than telling them they're right or wrong, I would suggest you just play, you just tap the rhythm that they've written and let them work it out, whether it's the same or different. So those are the four suggestions I've got for using how you can use lollipop sticks in your lessons. Pupils will have a lot of fun. I would do this with adults as well as, as, well as with teenagers and with younger children as well. Um, so let us know how that goes. In the meantime, I'm delighted to say that we're going to be opening the doors to the community on Monday next week. It will be open for the whole week. We'd love you to come and join us if you've been enjoying our Tuesday teaching tips and our blogs um, and all the free webinars that we do. Then do come and join us in the community because you'll find it has even more to give. I'll see you all next Tuesday. Bye for now.